I'm Arturo Valle, Director of Rehab United Escondido. Today, I wanted to spend some time talking about the misinformation about scoliosis. Um, today, we'll be focusing on more of a what we call a C-curve scoliosis, emphasizing uh, one portion of the spine, for instance, just the thoracic spine. As you can see here, we have a patient with a posterior view with a scoliotic C-curve uh, going to the right. So a misconception with scoliosis is that uh, scoliosis is only a one plane uh, deformity, which is very incorrect. Um, with uh, scoliosis, we have not only a frontal plane compensation, but also a transverse plane compensation. With this posture, we see more of what we call a left side bend. With this left side bend, there is an accompaniment with a right rotation. So with a left side bend, we get a right rotation. All right. So that adds two planes of motions that a lot of times uh, physicians or physical therapists don't focus on. Um, with us at Rehab United, one of the things we really focus on is the triplane motion of the spine. So when we're looking at uh, positions of the spine, we look at all three planes of motion and what type of compensations we can create. Um, the spine goes through normal motions of type 1 and type 2. Well, type 1 is a compensation similar to this. When you get a left side bend, you get a right rotation. With type 2, you would get a right side bend with a right rotation. So, as we can see with the scoliotic curvature, we actually create a type one compensation in the spine. So when we're looking at the spine, those are things we have to take into consideration, right? Another thing that people start to do is they see this type of compensation, so they have a left side bend, so what do we do? We wanna create a right side bend immediately, right? So we wanna direct the spine this way. When that happens, though, there's a lot of restriction going on in this portion of the spine. So these muscles on the left side of the spine, highlighted in blue, if you just take the spine and try to take it to the right immediately, because these muscles are so used to being shortened, you'll get a reaction from them, right? You'll get a reaction, sometimes it could be pain, right? You can get spasming. So those are things you do not want to create for your patients. So we like to focus on these lengthened muscles, right? So what we want to create is these muscles are lengthened. Sometimes people say they're lengthened and weak, right? So they're so far along that they're not activating anymore to create this right, road, right side bend, right? So with this, what we normally want to focus on is understanding that you want to exaggerate the compensation. So you want to actually go into a left side bend in order to get a relative right side bend. So by taking the spine into more of a left rotation, so we actually go into this direction, you stimulate the proprioceptors on the right side of the spine. So all the musculature on the right spine will now activate because you're creating a stretch reflex, so now you're activating the muscle spindles. With the muscle spindles activated, now you'll get these, this musculature to activate to bring them back to more of a neutral position. Right? And that's exactly what we want. We don't necessarily need to take the spine into a full right side bend immediately. We, all we need them to do is come back to neutral to see if we can start to realign the spine. Now, we do similar things in the transverse plane. Because we already have a right rotation, we exaggerate that right rotation with rotational exercises to stimulate again these muscles that have been dormant and the muscle spindles that have been dormant to again create a reaction and a stretch reflex to activate those muscles to help realign that spine again. So if you contact your physician, if you're seeing your physical therapist, please do more research. Please spend the time to ask more questions about your triplane compensation. Now is there scoliotic compensations and curvatures that aren't fixable? Yes. Unfortunately, 
if it's a structural fixed scoliosis, that's going to be a scoliotic posture that's most likely permanent. But if we have a structural flexible or a functional scoliosis, those are things that we at Rehab, Rehab United take pride in focusing on all triplane tri motion in order to return us back to into a neutral spinal position. So do more research if you want. Um, ask questions. If you know anyone that has any type of spinal compensations like that, please feel free to contact us at Rehab United. Um, we have four locations throughout San Diego. So anytime you have anyone in your life that has a spinal compensation like this and you hear that physical therapy cannot help this compensatory pattern because it is a compensatory pattern, Please, please, please do not believe that. There is things that you can do to improve that position and improve that patient's quality of life. Thank you.